Hello everybody and welcome back to my Mortal Kombat 1 boot camp series. Today's episode we are featuring Natara as her first part of her boot camp series. Now if you're new to my channel and don't know what these boot camp series are, we basically take a character in Mortal Kombat 1, learn how to play him in the first episode, and then in the second episode we'll take him into the very hard towers online, see, see what skills that we acquired from this previous video. I've already done more than a few characters on my channel. If you guys would like to see those after checking out this video and also letting me know on what character you would like to see next in this series. And a quick side note right before we get into the video. I know the state of this game is pretty much in the gutters right now. And um, as a Mortal Kombat fan for literally as long as I could remember, it pains me so hard to say that this game is at 1% at the health bar right now. <laughs> the best way to describe it is bad and I was just gonna start making a schedule around these types of videos but you know I really I just I really don't know and especially after watching the video we are watching the death of Mortal Kombat by the real MK Tom Brady I feel like he perfectly displayed basically everything that I want to say so definitely go check out his video on that but like he said in the video, if things don't change soon, man, I don't see this game lasting more than 30 days. And that's super sad for me to hear. But yeah, I stay hopeful for this game. You know, I really enjoy making these videos. I enjoy playing this game. It's just the devs make it a living hell in this game. And not necessarily just the devs. It's Wonder Brothers. But you know, I'm just one little small content creator just trying to help you get better at this broken game. So, if you like this video, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. The more likes on this video, the more likely I will know to make more of these videos. Make sure to stay to the end of the video. You will not want to miss a single combo for Natara in this video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off the video, we are going to use Scorpion's cameo. Starting right out with our first string and our quickest string, the 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. We're going to jump straight after and do our 2-4-2 two, two move. Right after that, we're going to do our first special move back forward. Three enhanced. Make sure it's enhanced for this first one. After Natara kicks your opponent up in the air, you're gonna want to jump back up after your opponent, and instead of doing the two four two, you are going to do the jumping one two four. Make sure you're jumping instantly as soon as Natara touches the ground. And after all that connects, we can do our first Scorpion cameo far fire breath. We are gonna wanna make sure to do that pretty early in our final flutter combo string. I say around here you should activate the move. After Scorpion torches your opponent, you can jump right back up to her and do the 2-4-2 move again, right back into another final taste. And just like that, our first combo string, our quickest combo string, is doing 430 damage. Now, if you wanna spend another bar, you can even get 450 damage by using the down forward four enhanced blood sacrifice. This will draw the blood from your enemy. This will give an extra 20 points of damage for all of you that need to scratch that itch of that high damage value. The next combo string we have with Natara is our two, two, one instead. Right from that first string, we are going straight into the Scorpion cameo fire breath. After the pop up from Scorpion, we'll jump up after our opponent and do the two, four, two jumping move again. And then we're going to do the air enhanced quick taste again. But instead of doing our normal combo finisher, we are just going to do the 242 final breath once again. So we're going to do it twice in a row for 404 damage. 40%. Not as much as our first combo, but it can actually be a little bit of a mix up as well with our Scorpion cameo. Our forward R1 move Hellblades straight into a quick dash and our standing 3 kick. And then we are going to finish it off just like how we did the last one. We can do what we did on the first combo string with the 1-2-4 jumping combo string. I would want to save the extra cameo bar because there's basically a cameo bar in every single string with Scorpion. We can also do our standing 3-4 hell dive kick right back into the standing far fire breath from Scorpion. You are going to want to make sure to activate him pretty early, but I made sure that you can actually read the connection before activating him. It will be pretty quick of a read, but you can manage. And right after that, we'll do our usual finisher. Oh, 
41%. Now keep in mind, if you do want to scratch that itch of the damage, you can spend the extra bar, and you can do that different string in the air to do that extra scorpion cameo meter. And that's another 468 damage with Natara. You know, she's actually not too damn bad because we can also do something like this with the standing three hex kick. We can do kind of a weird mix up here with the combo string cancel air dash. We do dash forward and then we do the downward scratch and then never gets old. After that, we are going to pull out the scorpion hellblaze for an overhead. So that will be our mix up. Instead of a low, it will be an overhead. After that, we can do our 2 4 2 enhanced quick pace combo ender again for almost 32 percent on your opponent that also includes our forward 4 3 4 move tenderize this move you can start out at max jumping distance here and the end of the string will still connect and after the connection you will want to right after do the far fire breath from scorpion once again right after the scorpion pop up you're gonna want to do the same thing just like how we did in the last one the 242 and then the enhanced quick taste times two and that will give you a 389 38 percent nice full screen combo almost full screen anyway and then for the x-ray move it's pretty much any startup that you can do that will end in the double 242 enhanced quick taste string ender instead of doing the second pair of string you would just do the x-ray instead but that's all i have for you today in this nataria boot camp series video if you did like this video please make sure to go down and like the video and leave a comment on what character you want to see next in these boot camp series Thank you so, so much for all the support that I've been getting recently on all my videos on my channel. I'm so excited to make, start making content for you here in 2024. Can't wait to see you again, and have a good one. Legends never die, we've been going every night. I've been feeling way too blessed, but with Lex I'm never stressed. They don't know just what we do, we've been out here with the crew. They don't know just how we live, think we got too much to give. I've been going in and going in.